Welcome back to another video. Today we're, we're going to be talking about Type Soul. Now, Type Soul is a new Roblox Bleach game that has gotten everybody on a leash, bro. This game has been very addictive, and a lot of people in the Roblox anime community have been playing it. Me included. Don't get me wrong. I have three accounts that have been playing the game. I love the game. It's pretty fun to play. Definitely is addictive. I have an Aron card that's max rank. I have an Soul Reaper that's max rank, and I also have a Quincy that's max rank. So, yeah, I've been playing this game like crazy. If you watch my streams, you know this. But anyway. Um, the goal of this video is that I want to talk about Type Soul. Um, this game has some issues, and I don't want this game to die because we've already had enough of that. And it's a pretty fun game, and I really don't want to see it go away. But it's it's no secret that Type Soul has a lot of issues. And no, I'm not going to just sit here and complain about balance or anything like that because that stuff is mainly just opinion based and bias, and I'm mainly talking about content wise. But anyway, before I even talk about anything, don't get me wrong. Like I said, I love the game; it's very fun to play. But yeah, it definitely has some issues. I really don't want this game to die. It's a really solid game, and it's fun to play, especially when you just go around fighting and stuff. It's a PvP progression based Bleach game, and I've been enjoying it. But there's a lot of things that just make no sense in this game at all. And since it's a CC game turned public, I can't really get too angry at some of the stuff because they don't owe us the game. They could have kept the game completely CC as a whole together the entire time. So like, I can't really like baby rage and get mad like, why is this like this? Why is this like this? Because they didn't have to give us the game. The game was CC. It could have stayed CC forever. Them giving us the game to play publicly is like, I'm grateful for that. And I feel like that's something a lot of people don't appreciate. But they're the ones getting our money and our time on the game. So not everything can slide. It's not going to be perfect, but some of the stuff is just really, really weird. But anyway, first thing I want to talk about is the end game content. There is absolutely zero end game content at all. Like there's nothing to do end game wise. Most people I've seen and most of my friends, when they get Bankai or a Rez or a Volt Standing, the game is boring. They quit. There's literally nothing to do. And yeah, you can go for like Let's Do or Visor. It's literally just RNG. And even if you want to do that, you want to just farm raids all day for uh, try and get fragments. Uh, the, the raid system is abysmal. I'll talk more about that later. But like there is absolutely no end game content at all. Like there's literally nothing to do end game wise. I mean, yeah, you can just, I guess, go to KT and just fight a bunch of random grunts. But like that's only fun for like a good like 30 minutes and then you just get off the game. <laughs> like it, it's not really that fun, at least to me. I've done it countless times. You can watch my streams. I've done it a billion times. It gets boring very fast. And even if you are maxed out end game wise, if you try and go into like a raid and it's conquest, you're most likely not gonna get to play and even if you do the system is kind of weird and it can go both ways like let's say it's uh i don't know it's like a 28 v2 and those last two people are uh high ranking elite grades or wrong cars and you're i guess a soul reaper you're the high rank you're not gonna get sent in till last and by the time you're finally sent in those dudes that have been fighting for so long they're probably gonna pop on you and you won't have any meter to fight them because you're going to die and you have to fill up your right meter before you can pop vault standing or whatever the hell it's just a really weird system i mean i can understand it though but i, I just don't like it i really think the raid system should change or something or there should be like more end game content but i'll talk more about the raid system later but end game wise there's like nothing to do like they need to add like i don't know pvp mode or something or add like a server where you can go queue and just do conquest and raids and all that stuff uh, survival game mode pve waves or something there just needs to be like more stuff more like stuff to do end game like there needs to be more ways to get skill boxes and hogyoku frags and all that stuff than mindlessly doing those raids because the current system is literally terrible but i'll talk more about that in a little. next thing i want to talk about before i talk about, about raids is that the game is public but it's basically still cc so basically this is like I know this has been like a huge thing people have been complaining about. Obviously, the game used to be CC and then it turned public. But when it turned public, all the people that had specs still have their specs. I mean, I get that. Like, they earned their stuff. I get that. Like, they were probably captains during CC. They earned their stuff. Props to them and all that. They sure they can keep their stuff, but I'm just trying to say that their specs can easily be made into obtainable stuff now that the game is public. Because right now, as it is, there's a lot of people that always come into my stream or my friends that just die to a spec user and they're like, wow, why is this not obtainable? Because it's weird how the game works. Like you can get Vasto and you can get Visor, but it's a lesser version of the CC Visor. Like it's, there's two different versions, the CC one, which has like three question marks and then the lesser one, which is the public one, which has only one question mark. The CC one has like all the Visor buffs, but if you get the lesser one, which is the public one that's obtainable, you only get like one Visor buff or one variant. It's like really weird, but whatever. Anyway. What I'm trying to say is that I don't care if they keep their specs. Sure, props to them. They can keep it. I don't care. But like some of the stuff can easily be made obtainable now that the game is public and will help with filling the game with cool stuff 
but for some reason that's just not a thing at least i don't think it's just a thing yet but like it just feels weird that the game is public and there's still stuff that you cannot obtain like it's a cc game like I, it, I don't know it's just a little weird to me some people say that now that the game is public all the captain slots and lt roles should be wiped fresh and like if they're really that good they can easily just get it back since they've been playing the game longer than everyone else but i don't know bro it's just a little weird i feel like they should definitely make like some specs obtainable so it can help with like filling up content in the game because right now uh there's not really that much content there's not really too much stuff to roll for especially on like quincy side and like a lot of other stuff but there's a lot of cool specs that i've seen that could easily be made obtainable maybe that's the plan of the future so i'm not going to speak too much on that but like i don't know it's a little weird i feel like uh captain slots and like lieutenant slots probably should have been wiped and then like i kind of feel that way too they probably should have been wiped and then like it'd be cool to see like uh the top players just go for those slots and all that but i don't know whatever it's just i don't know the game feels public but it's not really public but that also ties into my next point that spec users should not be giving elo i don't know why spec users can get elo because like uh, i don't know if you guys remember but at the start of the game the top 10 people were just all spec users or i like most of the top 10 i'm not gonna say like all the top 10 because i don't know that 100 percent but most of them were spec users it was really like weird because you need elo to get bankai and they also added a change where like uh if you're number one on the elo spot you get three times the bankai progression for stage one but like that person probably already has bankai i don't know it's really weird the way they did that but whatever spec users should not be giving elo i don't know why i don't know why you can kill someone with specs and then you get elo off that that is stupid to me and it makes no sense because right now i like I don't want to call it the Discord, but like, you know, a certain Discord, there's a bunch of like spec users and like uh, title buff users that are literally just selling their elo for skill boxes and crap. And it's like, what? Because, like, you telling me they can kill people with specs and then just go sell the, the elo by, by giving the person a grip for like skill boxes and uh items and probably USD is what I heard, but I'm not too sure about that. It's just, that's just really weird to me, but. I don't know why you're able to gain elo from specs that's that's just a little ridiculous but whatever i guess hopefully they fix that but i mean that's just me rambling i just i need to get this off the table but there's a lot more i could talk about that but like you get my point next thing i want to talk about the raid system the raid system is abysmal it is trash stage one of bankai vault or, or res you have to um get like what 175 raid wins it's easy to do don't get me wrong it's just extremely tedious and mind-boggling so like a lot of people would love it to where like you get free wins which you basically do at the moment but once you get bankai and all that the raid system is trash like i cannot count how many times i've seen like a a 28 v 0 v 0 or 30 v 0 v 0 and then you just get an instant win i mean that's cool and all for like people trying to progress stage one but that, that's not a good system first off that that is that that's not good <laughs> like that's not good the, the whole rage feature the whole stage one needs to get changed as a whole i really don't like it especially the elo one where you have to afk like 20 hours in game or something it's so stupid i do not like that like i can understand afk with the elo but you have to be in game what like i don't get that that's just stupid to me you have to afk 20 hours in game or hold the spot is what they call it even though most people are just gonna just sit at their computer and just sit there like just not playing the game i, I just don't get that why would i not want to play the game like i don't know it's just weird to me but the raid system is terrible like having to click on a server over and over and it says server is full server is full server is full is so trash that is so annoying it is stupid i hope they just change it to where like there's like a there's like a server queue thingy where you can like you just queue up in it like i don't know aba ranked and then it just teleports everybody to the server raid starts boom we all fight but as it is right now it just feels like it was the way it was in cc which it was and then like they just dropped it like that i feel like it should get like an overhaul revamp i mean it's it's okay the way it is right now at least it works but like it definitely probably needs a change in the future because the way it is is just it like what it's just really weird if you get art of the soul and you're like at a disadvantage it's sometimes winnable but not really likely unless like i guess you're like miracle or something and if you get conquest that's literally just a numbers game like i, I don't know why like conquest is legitimately just a numbers game unless both sides are close of course but it's more of a numbers game than it is an actual fight because it doesn't matter how strong you are if you're holding one point all the other points it's just numbers even if they're knocked they're still contributing to the point it's really weird like i don't know but yeah it, it, it probably needs like an overhaul revamp like i really wish they had like a queue system where you just queue up and it sends everybody queuing up into the raid like that'd be really really nice but hopefully that gets changed in the future my second last thing i want to talk about because i don't want this video to get too long is the elo system 
Uh, the ELO system should be probably changed, honestly. I, I really think the ELO system should probably be changed to where it's like ranked where you can queue up for 1v1s or something of that sort. And you can only like match against elite grades or something like that. I really hope the ELO system changes because it's just really weird. Like I, I don't get the thing of you have to AFK, I don't know, whatever. You get my point. It's just really weird. You have to AFK 15 hours in game for Bankai or stage one or whatever. But also if they do this change, spec users would probably just queue up and rank and just destroy everybody. So I don't know. It's just really weird. But yeah, hopefully something changed. They can definitely think of something. Something has to change about that though. But yeah, the way the current system is, it's really weird. I hope they do add a rank system. And even if it, even if it doesn't give ELO, I hope they just add a rank system just for like fun. You don't have to really gain anything from it. I mean, sure you can gain ELO, but like it, it'd still be fun to have a, as a feature where you can just queue up ranked and then fight people. That would be really fun to, for the game and that contributes to like no end game content. That can help with that for sure. Now, the last thing I wanna talk about is the big thing that happened yesterday. Unfortunately, the game got leaked. Yeah, we all know that. I'm not gonna really dive too much into that, but apparently since the game got leaked, that's really bad for the game, obviously, because people were able to look at the rates and whatnot. Uh, since the game got leaked, people were getting a copy of the game or something like that. And then they looked at the rates and they were not what they said they were, which was like pretty wild because if that's true, that's really bad, but also that could be also deceptive because imagine if the person that leaked the game uh changed it in their version to make it not seem like what they were so but i don't know because also last night dev type soul he typed an announcement saying that uh the legendary weapon rates were not what they were supposed to be there was a bug where legendary weapons were 10 percent instead of one percent i kind of knew that was the that it had to have been something like that because when i did my 50k robux it made no sense that i was repeatedly getting a legendary weapon but not a legendary she guy it, it just i don't know it was really weird but that also just scares me because well what else is not what they're supposed to be you know what i mean like what other rates are not what they're supposed to be like people were saying miracle and a couple other things were not really one percent but they're actually point one i honestly don't know who to believe it's just really annoying because I don't know what the rates are anymore. They can literally write on the screen that it'll say 1%, but it could actually say 0.1. So like, I'm actually kind of skeptical about re-rolling because I was gonna re-roll for uh, Flower, but like, I don't even know if I should anymore because what if they type 1% and it's actually not 1%? Like, I don't know, it's really weird. There definitely needs to be like some transparency here when it comes to like the rates or something. Like even on raids, the whole Yoku frags and all that, like I, I feel like we should see that. Well, maybe, probably not for that, but stuff we pay for. <laughs> I'd hope they weren't lying, but like, I don't know. I honestly don't know. Like, I, I really pray that the rates are actually what they say they are. It's just, I don't know. It's just a little weird now. I kind of have trust issues with rolling in this game because I can literally be getting scammed. <laughs> I refuse to believe it was like a bug that it was 10% and not 1%. Because like, now they probably copiumed you into thinking, oh, snap, I, load, I rolled a legendary weapon that was 1%. Maybe I'll definitely roll an elemental. Let me roll again. Like, I don't know. It's just... I don't know this game is crazy but I really do pray the game doesn't die because it's, it's genuinely a fun game and I actually like it but it definitely has some issues bro I mean and this is just the tip of the iceberg there's still a lot of stuff I can go into there's a lot of drama that's happened with like the mod team and all that stuff but I don't I'm not gonna get into that stuff I mainly want to talk about like the game's content like we need more content I understand they're adding like a uh, new um new shikais or uh partials or whatever the hell but like that, that's not gonna be enough we need more content like the other night they dropped like the fear vault standing but like how many people can actually get the fear vault standing there's basically no update dropped the other night for like majority of the game because one fear vault standing's a one percent and two a lot of people are not quincy and three how many people you know are gonna re-roll for that thing <laughs> or even get it to get access to the new update like you get what i mean like a lot of people aren't gonna experience that <laughs> so like i don't know they also need to be adding content while adding partials and stuff like they, they can't just add partials that's not gonna be enough <laughs> people are starting to hit max rank and they're getting bored there needs to be more content <laughs> but yeah that's pretty much it that's pretty much all i want to say i don't really want to ramble too much about other stuff because the more i talk and the more it's going to start bringing up other stuff so that's enough i'm gonna just end this off here anyway let me know what you guys think about type soul i really do pray this game does not die because it's it's actually really fun but yeah unfortunately it just has a lot of issues but Hopefully, at least half of these get solved. Because, obviously, not all this stuff is going to get solved. The game's not going to be perfect. But, I don't know. One step at a time. Anyway, that's going to do it for me. Let me know you guys' thoughts about the game in the comment section. And, uh, yeah. Catch y'all boys later.